Sarah Burials. Sarah Beth Burials is an American musician, singer-songwriter and pianist. She achieved mainstream success in 2007 with the hit single Love Song, which reached number one on the Billboard Pop 100 chart. Bar Isles has sold over 1 million records and over 4 million singles in the United States alone and has been nominated for a Grammy Award five times. In the third season of NBC's The Sing Off, Bar Isles was a celebrity judge alongside Ben Folds and Sean Stockman. In February 2012, VH1 placed Bar Isles in the 80th spot of the top 100 greatest women in music. Early Life Bar Isles was born and raised in Eureka, California, one of three daughters of Bonnie Hall of Orson, Nay Capellas, a funeral home worker, and Paul Bar Isles, an insurance adjuster. She has a half-sister named Melody. She is of Italian, German, Portuguese, and French descent. She speaks Italian and lived in Italy for a year. Bar Isles was raised Catholic and participated in the high school choir, limited edition, and local community theater musical productions, including her high school's production of Little Shop of Horrors as Audrey. After graduating from high school in 1998, Bar Isles attended the Communication Studies program at the University of California, Los Angeles, where she was a member of the co ed a cappella group Awaken a Cappella, and can be heard on their dysfunctional family album Singing Gravity, and I Want You Back by the Jackson Five. The group's rendition of Bar Isles Gravity was featured on the Best of College a Capella 2004 compilation CD. Bar Isles and the band Maroon 5 have been acquainted since their younger days in California when the band was known as Cara's Flowers. She performed in the annual student concert UCLA Spring Sing, winning twice. Sarah taught herself to play the piano and subsequently all other instruments she has seen playing. Career. 2002 to 2006, career beginnings and careful confessions. After graduating from UCLA in 2002, Bar Isles performed at local bars and clubs, such as the Hotel Cafe and Genghis Cohen in Los Angeles, building a following before performing in larger venues. She issued two demos of mostly live tracks in 2003, the first one in April and the summer sessions in October. In 2004, she appeared as a singer in a bar in the indie film Girl Play, performing the song Undertow. In January 2004, Bar Isles released her first studio album, Careful Confessions. She signed a contract with Epic Records on April 15, 2005. The remainder of the year and early 2006 she spent writing and reworking songs for her upcoming album. In mid-2004 she opened for Rocco De Luca and The Burden during their inaugural headline tour, supported Gusto on their first UK tour and co-headlined a tour with John McLaughlin. She toured as the opening act in 2006 for Mark Brusset's Kung Crow tour. Bar Isle's song Gravity appeared briefly in the 2006 independent film Loving Annabelle. In 2007, Bar Isle's toured as the opening act for Aqualung and Mika and later that year opened for several shows on both Maroon 5 and Paolo Nutini's U.S. tours. She also opened for James Blunt on his U.S. tour in association with VH1 Uachta No. 2007-2008, Little Voice In June 2007, iTunes featured Bar Isle's single Love Song as the free single of the week. The following month, her major label debut Little Voice shot to number one on the list of most downloaded albums of the music store in its first week of release, and debuted at number 45 on the Billboard 200 chart. After being featured on a Rhapsody commercial in 2007, Love Song began climbing the pop charts, jumping from number 73 to number 16 in one week. It entered the top 10 on the Billboard Hot 100 on December 27, 2007, and peaked at number 4. On other charts, such as the Pop 100 and Hot AC, Love Song hit number one. Bar Isles performed the song on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno on Thursday, January 17, 2008, and on The Today Show on Thursday, February 21, 2008. Soon after that, the song entered the UK singles chart, peaking at number four. 
The music video was directed by Josh Forbes and stars British actor Adam Campbell. As of 2010, Little Voice has been certified platinum by the RIAA. The album peaked in the Billboard 200 at number 7, and the UK Top 40 at number 9. Bar Isle's breakthrough single, Love Song has since been certified 3x platinum. On October 28, 2008, Bar Isle's released Between the Lines, Sarah Bar Isle's Live at the Fillmore on DVD and CD. The package is a recording of her first headlining tour at the famous Fillmore in San Francisco. This package also included live recordings of her unreleased song August Moon, as well as a cover of Otis Redding's, Sitting On, The Dock of the Bay. She concluded the tour in her hometown of Eureka, California on December 19, 2008, at the Arkley Center for the Performing Arts. She toured with Counting Crows and Maroon 5 between July 22 and August 26, 2008. The first stop was Virginia Beach, Virginia and the last stop Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio. Bar Isles was selected as MTV Artist of the Week for July 7th to 11th and appeared again on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno on Wednesday, July 9, 2008. And on December 9, 2008, with Ingrid Michaelson. During the spring of 2009, Bar Isles was on her second headlining tour, The Gravity Tour, to promote the third and final single from her album Little Voice. She made her third appearance in Charlottesville, Virginia during UVA's annual Springfest on March 28, her first as the opener for Mark Brusard in 2005 and the second being an opening for Maroon 5. Bar Isles also played multiple college shows in April and May. Some were for college students only and others were open to the public. She sent out a special holiday message to fans on her mailing list and gave out a free live acoustic EP recorded during her Gravity Tour last spring. The EP contains seven acoustic songs, including a new song Free Ride, I'm On Fire, a Bruce Springsteen cover duet with Tony Lucker, and two speaking segments. In early 2010, Bar Isles recorded video of what she called an ode to Jersey Shore, and posted it to her official website as a gag for fans. 2009-2012, Kaleidoscope Heart and the Sing-Off After an extended period of writer's block, Bar Isles began work on the follow-up to her major label debut in the summer of 2009, collaborating with the likes of Amir Questlove Thompson, members of Weezer, and Farah Williams. As the songs began to take their final shape, Neil Evren was assigned to produce, record, and mix the entire album. The album, eventually titled Kaleidoscope Heart, was recorded at the Village Recorder and Sunset Sound in Los Angeles. The first single from Kaleidoscope Heart, King of Anything, began receiving radio airplay in the US in May 2010, and was released for sale in June. King of Anything had its first play on the UK radio airwaves on Paul Kay's album download show on Mid Wales commercial radio station Radio Maldin, The Magic 756 in August 2010. King of Anything has since been certified platinum by the RIAA. In anticipation of the new album, Bar Isles released a series of webisodes, featuring the making of select songs from Kaleidoscope Heart, including King of Anything, Uncharted. Gonna Get Over You, Bluebird, and a strings-only version of King of Anything. The first we bisode also contains Bar Isles writing the chorus for Hold My Heart. She was selected as VH1's Posted Artist of the Month for July 2010, chronicling her life leading up to the album's release. Kaleidoscope Heart was released on September 7, 2010, and debuted at number one in the United States, selling 90,000 copies. Interestingly. Her previous album Little Voice re-entered the charts at number 200 in the same week, bookending the charts. Bar Isles toured in support of Kaleidoscope Heart from September to December 2010, with most of the shows being sold out. Bar Isles toured Europe and parts of Asia and Australia with Maroon 5 throughout spring 2011. She embarked on a small headline Uncharted tour in April 2011 with openers Elizabeth and the Catapult and Xamina Serinana in support of the second single from Kaleidoscope Heart, Uncharted, which concluded April 23, 2011 in Memphis, Tennessee. 
She also opened select shows for country music duo Sugarland on their summer 2011 Incredible Machine tour. The third and final single released from Kaleidoscope Heart is Gonna Get Over You, with a music video directed by Jonah Hill. Bar Isles was added in the third season of the NBC television series The Sing Off as a celebrity judge, alongside Ben Folds and Sean Stockman of Boys Two Men. Bar Isles also guest starred on Bucket and Skinner's Epic Adventures. Indiana State Fair Stage Collapse On August 13, 2011, the Hoosier Lottery Grandstand stage at the Indiana State Fair collapsed right after Bar Isles finished performing as the opening act for Sugarland. She was uninjured, tweeting I'm speechless and feel so helpless. My heart aches for the lives lost. Seven people died, and more than 45 were injured in the collapse. 2012 present, once upon another time EP in the blessed unrest. Soon after joining the sing-off, Bar Isles announced she was in the process of recording a new EP with co-star Ben Folds producing it. She also collaborated with fellow singer-songwriters Greg Lawswell and John McLaughlin on their new singles in February. In March, she will release a Trace of Sun a documentary of her time volunteering in Japan after the 2011 Tohoku earthquake. Her EP, Once Upon Another Time, was released on May 22 and contained five new recordings. The first single from the EP, Stay was released on April 21, 2012 on 7 Vinyl, exclusive to Record Store Day participants with the vinyl-only B-side Beautiful Girl. During her Stay Guide show on September 10, 2012, she stated that she was working on a new record in New York. She also premiered a new song which may be appearing on her new album, titled Only Shadows. In January, she spilled a little news on what's with her for this year. After moving to New York, Bar Isles is finishing her record already, and will release the lead single from that album soon. In January, Bar Isles was a featured artist of the a cappella group Straight No Chaser on the Jackson 5 song, I Want You Back, which premiered on Billboard. In February, she began teasing her fans to her upcoming album through her Twitter and YouTube accounts. First is the video that she released on her website, titled Sarah is Making a Record. On March 27, Bar Isles announced that she would be doing an 18-city tour to promote the new album. The first single, Brave, was released digitally on April 23. On April 17, 2013, Bar Isles released a lyric video for her single Brave on YouTube. Her album, titled The Blessed Unrest, was released on July 13, 2013. Bar Isles performed two songs for the feature film Bounty Killer, released in September 2013. The Kill was written by Will Kalia and Swajata Day. Gonna Getcha was written by Will Kalia and the film's director, Henry Sane. Her live album, Brave Enough, Live at the Variety Playhouse, was released on October 22, 2013. The concert was recorded at the Variety Playhouse in Atlanta, Georgia. In October 2013, two nurses from University of Minnesota Amplatz Children's Hospital Brittany Blanc and Natalie Snyder, along with former patient Sarah E. Weil produced a YouTube video containing co-workers and young cancer patients dancing and singing to Bar Isles' song Brave. As of November 11, 2013 it has been viewed over one million times since its initial publication on October 7, 2013. On October 31, 2013 while the trio were being interviewed by host Nichelle Turner on the HLN show Showbiz Tonight, Bar Isles surprised them by Skyping into the interview. Of the video she said, I was sent this video by a friend of a friend who lives in Minnesota, and I watched it late at night and immediately my eyes welled up with tears. It's moments like this that remind me of the importance of music, and I can't think of a more perfect incarnation of this song. It's exactly the kind of thing that gives the life to this song that we were hoping for. As of October 2013, Bar Isles is working on writing music for Waitress, a musical adaptation of the 2007 film of the same name. She is also going to be writing a book which is expected to be released in 2014 by Simon & Schuster. In 2014, Bar Isles performed at the 56th Annual Grammy Awards on January 26. At the event, 
she performed a duet with Carole King, with the pair performing renditions of King's Beautiful and Bar Isles Brave. On April 28, Bar Isles performed with Elton John at the Breast Cancer Research Foundation annual Hot Pink Party fundraiser. Influences in musical style Bar Isles is often compared to artists such as Regina Spector, Fiona Apple, Billy Joel, due to her vocal ability and incorporation of piano in her music. Her sound is described as slightly edgy, stompy piano-based pop rock that incorporates jazz and soul, with Bar Isles finding inspiration from singers such as Etta James and Sam Cooke. She is often praised for her songwriting abilities, with critics stating she conveys vulnerability and wisdom in lyrics that speak honestly about relationships from a woman's point of view, and that her writing voice is uniquely her own. She plays the piano, guitar, ukulele, and harmonium. Band Members Bar Isles' first band consisted of members, Javier Dunn, guitar and vocals, Daniel Ryan, bass, and Josh Day, drums, percussion and backing vocals. Other musicians who have toured with her as part of her band include Eric Robinson, guitar and keys, Holly Conlon, backing vocals, Steve Jewell, drums, percussion, and Philippe Croon and Gold, guitar and keyboards. In 2013, Bar Isles parted amicably with her long-time bandmates to move in a new direction. She subsequently embarked on a short solo tour, before forming a new band in anticipation of her full co-headlining tour with One Republic. The new band consists of Rich Hinman, guitar, Steve Jewell, drums, percussion, Chris Morrissey, bass, Cara Fox and Claire Indy, cello, and Misty Boyce, keyboards. Collaborations with other artists In December 2008, a single with Ingrid Michaelson titled Winter Song was released off the compilation The Hotel Café Presents Winter Songs. Bar Isles and Michaelson performed it on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno, and an animated video was released. In December 2011, Winter Song reached number two on the Irish Singles Chart. She also recorded a song Come Home, a duet with One Republic, which was released on iTunes on July 14, 2009. Bar Isles performed with many other singers on the season 3 finale of 30 Rock, alongside Mary J. Blige, Rachel Yamagata, Sheryl Crow, Nora Jones and Elvis Costello. She also appeared with Weezer on Jimmy Kimmel Live. And AOL Sessions guest performing, If You're Wondering If I Want You To, I Want You To as well for a special performance on YouTube. She has performed for the First Family numerous times. Bar Isles was first invited by First Lady Michelle Obama to play at the G20 Summit in Pittsburgh in September 2009. Here she performed songs for the First Ladies of Twenty Nations and afterward dined with Michelle Obama. The Obamas again invited her to perform at the Easter Egg Roll in 2010. On October 20, 2010. It was announced that Bar Isles would open for President Obama at a Las Vegas rally for the Democratic midterm elections. In late 2010 as pop rock band Maroon 5 was touring in promotion for their Hands All Over album, Bar Isles contributed to the female vocals, originally belonging to Lady Antebellum, for the song Out of Goodbyes. She appeared with the band Sugarland for a cover of Dex's, Midnight Runners, Come On Eileen in a YouTube exclusive. In December, Bar Isles and fellow singer Ingrid Michaelson performed Winter Song for the Obamas and many spectators at the National Christmas Tree Lighting. In December 2010, Bar Isles appeared with a backbeats on the season finale of the Sing Off. She performed the duet Love Won't Let You Get Away with Seth MacFarlane on his debut studio album Music Is Better Than Words, and reunited to perform the song with him at Club Nokia on March 26, 2011. Bar Isles is featured on the first single from John McLaughlin's fourth studio effort Promising Promises, Summer Is Over. The track was released in January 2012. Discography Careful Confessions, 2005, Little Voice, 2007, Kaleidoscope Heart, 2010, The Blessed Unrest, 2013. Filmography Television film 
awards and nominations.